a female is giving birth to babies and they need calcium. The babies use mama's calcium. Well, mama has a good high raw diet, plenty of calcium. But if mama has a parathyroid weakness, even on a great diet, she can't utilize the calcium out of the great diet. The baby keeps borrowing hers. <laughs> and of course, the baby's chances of having a parathyroid weakness is also high. And then the baby doesn't grow well skeletally or anything else. And then they have growing pains and all the other kind of stuff. Or then they get the heads and everything else. Story gets worse. You poor ladies, you get postpartum depression. If you give up your calcium to your babies and you don't have that much to give up. I mean, because the parathyroid, the chances of the baby having a parathyroid could be there. So then the baby can't take utilize the calcium it's stealing from the mother. So then... You see where the see where it can get radical? Yeah, real radical. And then mutation of the babies is sure in all, all types of places. You know, but anyway, it, it just shows you're born probably with kidneys and adrenals. You're not filtering and so you can be on and this is the only way you can be on raw foods and have these symptoms if you're not filtering. Because it doesn't matter what the chemistry is coming in, it's what's not coming out. See? So it doesn't matter the goodies that's going in there. It's just what aren't you eliminating? And that's the gig. So that's why you can be on raw foods and still get a kickback from this. But ultra pasteurization takes dairy products close to plastic. So when you drink a glass of milk, you're drinking a glass of plastic. And notice the last study said that the more milk you drink, the more prone to fractures because you bonded this chemistry so acidically that it leaches calcium. Whenever you eat acid forming foods, plan to lose calcium. Because you're now in a phosphorus nitrogen rich food, which is antagonistic to your electrolytes and your calciums. Uh, and that's not fruits, berries, and melons and vegetables. They're more electrolyte rich and low on the nitrogen and, and phosphoruses. That's more suited to our blood. When you dump these, this swampy jawed chemistry of high acids into the blood, you're lucky you don't die from it. Because in three minutes you can. But the body can steal. The body can steal. And thank God there is some other nutrients in people's meals. <laughs> some people don't get any greens in their meals. You know, I think it's deeper than that. Calcium has a lot to do with nerve impulses and nerve synapses. And when you when you have weakened nerve energy, you just have a frown on your face. Calcium also probably has a lot to do with brain synapses and serotonins and everything else as well. It has a lot to do emotionally. Uh, actually, it has more to do with how you see yourself, uh, how you love yourself, that sort of thing. A lot of people just don't love themselves or care for themselves. The world is hard. The, uh, they, they might be too big, too small, not pretty enough or whatever, so they don't love themselves. Some even the beautiful people, quote unquote, don't love themselves. So you have a whole world of unhappiness. But that parathyroid is your depression. And if you've got that, you know immediately you have parathyroid problems. And if you've been battling that, then I think you're right on with the pituitary. So that could mean you have a very chronic pituitary. Don't give up. Keep working. Everybody has waste when they eat food. And so does 100 trillion cells in your body. That's easy to understand. Well, what happens to these cellular wastes? They're not just dumped back in the blood. These are acids. And that could kill you. That could suck the calcium right out of your body. Because when you dump acids in the blood, guess what the blood has to do to keep that pH in balance? Find something that's opposite. So if you dump too much alkaline chemistry in the blood, it's got to find acid chemistry. If you dump too much acid chemistry in the blood, it's got to find base or alkaline chemistry, which is calcium. And this is why you see varicose veins. It's why you see spider veins. It's why you have cramping. It's why you have depression. It's why your skin sags. It's why you have a prolapsed uterus or bladder. Why your bowels sag and herniate. It's why you have herniations, aneurysms, the loss of connective tissue integrity. And that's all a calcium utilization issue reflecting a high acidosis and the loss thereof in the body's attempt to neutralize acids. Acids win, you lose. It's that simple. Simple game. But if that side wins, you lose. And that's why people are losing to acids. You take calcium and you don't have proper parathormone or proper parathyroid hormone, you're going to, get, you're going to give yourself uh, uh, arthritis. 
seen it a, a lot of times. That's why I don't get into supplementation. It's it's not worth it. You're you're not you're it's, it's you're trying to skip proper digestion, proper absorption, proper utilization, and the only way to have those three is with proper elimination. If you get calcium in the body without parathormone or without the parathyroid hormone, it can act like a free radical and create severe hardening of the arteries mm -hmm. and, and arthritis and stuff. So you've got to really be careful because within an acid medium, you have ionization going on and uh, you can form crystals and everything else in all this process. And this is the other problem. Don't take calcium, guys. Don't take calcium. Take kelp or the God's Blend. It's super high in calcium. Take a plant calcium. Don't take calcium of isolates, all right? When taking a parathyroid gland, how many milligrams of calcium would you recommend? No. No, because you don't want to take calcium in and of itself, by itself. You want the whole family with it. You want the twin sister magnesium, the little brother phosphorus. You want the whole family. So if you want to take anything, supplement kelp then, or the superfood blend, which has kelp and other things in it. You want the superfoods that are high in calcium, not calcium isolate, because that'll just push your magnesium and phosphorus and start making, kicking out all your cousins. You can't play with these ratios and not affect everybody. Can't do it. Everybody's related in chemistry. So don't, don't advise calcium supplementation at all. I had a nurse come in here one day. She was a nurse anesthetist. And um, her uh, anesthesiologist boss told her that she had arthritis and told her she should take calcium for it. Well, she did. Well, she come walking in my office like she'd been on a horse for about three years and not got off. Her legs were so bow-legged it wasn't even funny. <coughs> and I said, let me guess. Arthritis and someone told you to take calcium for it? She said, well, how do you know? I said, because I see that all the time. You get hardening of the joints, you get calcium. In other words, calcium became a free radical. One, because she had a parathyroid weakness, and two, because she supplemented isolate of it. Don't want to do that.